Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. We're going to be going over the second video, which is um, basically going to duplicate the efforts done in the first video. In the first video, uh, we created the pass flow with uh, edit depth and uh, a go back control flow. And then we um, used the set current row with key value functionality from the data control to um, declaratively head over to a specific record in this form. Tonight, we're going to do it a slightly different way. And the reason we'll uh, talk about later. Again, uh, what we're going to do is just drag this onto the task flow rather than set it into the button. And uh, again, you have this value situation here, but um, we'll do that later. We'll go into the depth table and actually get that value. copy it over from the value, input value area, and go over to here. And you can see that when you create this, an actual uh, page def is created. I'm going to go to that record by double clicking on it. And um, over here in the structure, or yeah, structure window, down here I can see the row key. And then I go over to the property inspector over in the far right here and just copy that in. Save it. We'll go back to the button, which is here. Actually, we're going to create a button now. And we're going to just drag this over here and we'll call it go depth. And we'll call it method just to distinguish it. And of course, we have to set this. Um, let's actually check our. Oh, we don't have a control flow here. So we need to put that in. And we'll say go depth as opposed to edit depth. So let's go back to our table and go back to our button, go depth. OK, next what we need to do is go to our depth table. Um, actually, we haven't put the depth table on. I suppose we could go over to this one too, but I'm, I'm just going to create a separate one here on the task flow just so that um, keep things separate. Departments over here. I'm going to do a control flow from here, and it's going to just say name it the output of the method. And then, of course, we need to go back. So, all right. Go over here to this table, and instead of using that button, we're going to have another button. That button will not work because it's not associated with this control flow case. Yeah. So go back depth, save it. OK, let's run this. And uh, getting over to the form, we have our um, something seems wrong here. Let's start that over again. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with that. OK. Click on it. Seems to be going fine now. Goes over to 50. And if we press this, nothing will happen. It will just sit there. But uh, pressing the right button will take us to where we want to go. OK, and that's how it works. So let's just quickly go over it. In this case, instead of adding it under the button, we set it at its own private uh, own separate method and then use extra control flow cases. And this is nice because it gives you the ability to easily find out what the record, is, what the application is doing. This is a method, and um, you can quite quickly see it. You don't have to go down to the table level to see what's going on. Yes, you could see that it's going to the edit depth, but you don't really know why it's going there or how it's going there. And so by having this outside, specifically on the task flow unto itself, you can easily see that it is a method and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, if you just looked at this to here, you might think, OK, we're going from one record to another, and I don't know why. Um, but here, it's clear. OK, I hope this is helpful to you, and um, have a good evening.